Hi, we're going to do a video on geometric probabilities using Minitab. So this is the problem in the PowerPoint, so let's go over it. Assume that the probability of a defective computer component, component is 0 0.02. Components are randomly selected. Find the probability that the first defect is caused by the seventh component tested. How many components do you expect to test until the first one is found to be defective? All right, so let X be the number of computer co components tested until the first defect is found. All right, X takes on the values 1, 2, 3, where P equals 0 0.02. All right, so find where P equals 7. So I'm going to go out of this. All right, again, in the, in the PowerPoints, I have the instructions, but I want to show you just in case there's ever any questions. So I'm going to go to my mini tab. Oops. So here I'm going to do 0 through 7. Remember, you've got to put that 0 in because there is the probability that it didn't occur. Okay, so if you hear, see here in, in C1, I have 0 through 7. So then here I'm going to do probability distributions. I'm going to go to geometric. I'm going to do probability. Remember, we said the event probability is 0 0.02. My input column is going to be C1. And my X, excuse me, my um, output is going to be C2. So I hit OK. And look what it gives me. It gives me all the probabilities. And I'm just going to put a probability here. So if I go back to the PowerPoint, you'll see that's exactly what I got for this one. But let's say I wanted to some, know something like greater than. So say greater than or equal to, or excuse me, or less than or equal to 7. So then I'm going to go calc. Probability distributions, geometric, and then I'm going to change the probability, probability, the cumulative probability, and I hit OK. Oops. Let me go back and do that again. I made a mistake. Does anybody know what I did wrong? Well, what I did wrong is, and this can happen a lot of times, I meant to put that in C3. So I'm going to go ahead and update that and do C3. So look, it gave me the cumulative probabilities. And then I need to go back and fix C2 because I made a mistake and that's okay. So all I do is go calculate, probability, geometric, and now I'm going to pick this one and I'm going to change my output to be this C2. So then I hit okay and it changes it for me. And if you look at them, they're pretty similar, but when I go back to my PowerPoint, it actually shows me how they're different, okay? So this one wanted to know less than or equal to 7. And if I go back to mini tab, 7 here is for the probability is 0 0.017, which means that's if I get 7, exactly 7. But here means less than or equal to 7, which means I added up all these probabilities and included 7 to get that answer. I hope this helps because this is geometric distributions in mini tab.